Hey Hoopa, it's Deanne Love here and in this mini class we are going to unpack, explore and get into the Vortex. The Vortex is a supremely beautiful hoop move that I believe all hoopers should learn. So we're going to unpack how to get there. I'm going to give you some modifications if your shoulders are not feeling the vortex. And we're going to look at why the vortex is such a cool move to transition on and off your body. So grab a hoop that you love. Another beautiful thing about this move is that you can use any size hoop that you like. Remembering that the bigger the diameter, the more space you will have. So if you are learning or if you have any um, stuckness in shoulders or you have any injuries, then a wider diameter might suit you really well because the smaller the diameter, the less room that you're going to have. So really hoop size for a vortex is about what is going to make you feel like you have enough space, ease and comfort. So grab your hoop and let's get started. Okay, so to begin with, we are just going to start by passing the hoop round and around our body. Knuckles up at the front, knuckles up at the back and just taking the hoop in whatever direction you feel like because we're really just warming up through the hands, wrists, arms and shoulders here and then breaking, reversing, going in the opposite direction. You can stand facing one position if you like or you can feel the freedom of turning. If you are prone to getting dizzy, change direction. If you are prone to getting dizzy as you turn, then build up your awareness little by little. So you don't need to be spinning out of control, although the vortex is very happy when you are turning in a circle. Okay, let's take the hoop into side to side break. So you're going to put the hoop inside your elbow and then hand and replace side to side here. Okay, the next time the hoop comes out in front, we're going to put the hand down and pass, then break, 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 opposite direction, break, these are just coordination stations, opposite direction. Break, 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 opposite direction. And if you prefer to break with your hands, knuckles up like this, rolling it on the side of your body, also perfect. So simply changing directions one way and then the other. Now, if your shoulders are feeling it, we're going to take the hoop up above, starting to Warm up through the backs of the arms, the backs of the shoulders, loosening through the side of the neck. Pressing the palms together here and onto the second hand. Again, just finding space, relaxation, dropping the shoulders back and down. Then we're going to switch the grip here and Take one hand, then the other. So we're doing a propeller move above the head. So it's grab and twist, grab and twist, but above the head. This is just warming up again, wrists, coordination. Now, one of the beautiful things about this vortex move, and you can change your above direction to the opposite direction, just for a bit of extra brain power. But something beautiful about the vortex move, not only is it a flowing floaty move, but it's also opening up the channels of the heart and lung meridians, opposite direction, just to give yourself a little bit of extra play. Okay, reaching high with the right hand and then changing left hand. Okay, so let's do a breakdown of the vortex. The vortex looks like this, where we take the hoop and pass it behind our back and above our head, turning in the same direction. But we're going to look at, first of all, how to make it nice and smooth, how to troubleshoot some of the clunky bits that can come into vortexing, and then how to transition on and off your body. So first of all, let's get familiar with the direction that you are going to prefer to do the vortex. And I totally recommend being able to practice it in both directions. But for this little mini series, uh, let's just 
move in the direction that feels best for you. And one way that you're going to check that is to pop the hoop on your body and just go with your natural desired direction. So for me, it is spinning the hoop around to the left. Maybe for you, it's to the right. Totally up to you. Now, if your hoop is spinning around to the left on your waist quite naturally, then that is going to be the way just for this little class that we're going to learn to vortex. So you will be vortexing around to the left. And if your hoop is going to the right, you'll be vortexing around to the right. And then, of course, in your own time, you can practice everything mirrored. So let's begin on the waist. And this is just one way that we can transition into the vortex. So what we're going to do is, if we're going to the left with our hoop, we take our right hand down, back of the palm, back of the hand, at the lower back, hoop is going to touch the palm, and when you feel ready, you're going to grab the hoop, reach for the sky, and turn. So it looks like this. Now maybe, hopefully, you will have gone from a waist spin to a hand spin. But here are some of the things that might have happened, which are totally normal and totally okay. Maybe it was difficult for you to put your hand in while you keep hooping on your waist. So stick with that part there just for a moment practice being able to maintain your pulse, but also pop your hand in. And then eventually, the next step will be to grab the hoop. And then the next step will be to lift the hoop high. So another thing that can happen is you get all of those parts moving and then you grab the hoop and you get all excited and you take it out in front. And what's going to happen is it's either going to hit your booty or your armpit or your ear and that is natural. So we're working on keeping the hoop on the waist, taking the hand in behind, picking the timing for when we're going to grab And then as we grab at exactly the same time, grab, turn, lift. And notice that this is a full body expression. And this is why I love the vortex. It's not just an off body hand manipulation. It is a full body expression. So on the waist, hand in. When you're ready to grab, grab, turn in the same direction and lift. Now that in itself is a beautiful way to transition the hoop off the body. Give it a few practices just here. And of course, if you're going in the opposite direction or if you're going around to the right, your left hand will be going in, grab, turn, lift. Now when you get to the top here, what's going to happen is your thumb is on the inside. You're going to keep the momentum spinning around in that same direction, four fingers reaching towards the sky. So give yourself as plenty of time to practice that. Now here's a modification. If that is feeling too abrupt for your shoulders, what you can do is have the hoop spinning in your preferred direction. Use both hands, turn and catch on the outside. And as you turn, slide your hands forward, elbows in and gently reach the hoop up. Keep watching and in a little bit, I'll show you a modification if it's not feeling okay for you to take your arms above your head at all. There's always a variation that we can work on. So if you prefer to keep your arms down nice and low and that supports you, then I'll give you a modification in a moment. But for now, we're either practicing one hand up and turn, two hands, grab, slide, elbows in and turn. So have a little go with that. And if you do prefer to keep your shoulders low, what you can do is, again, grab on the outside and you can make circles here. So we're still moving and flowing. And what you could practice if you're preferring to keep your shoulders down and not raise your arms above your head is spin in your preferred direction. Hands on the outside, turn a little, 
create some circles, press against your back and spin. So modification there or one hand raise or two hands raise. Okay, how's that feeling? You could try all three and then you can definitely try it all in the opposite direction. All right, so now if we are going to continue with the vortex and turn it into this magical being, then what we need to do is add a spiral down to our spiral up. So we're going step by step here. All right, so if you're going around to the left, right hand goes in, we're going to take it up to the sky, spin on our right hand, take the left hand in, palms together, fingers together, this can be tricky if it's new, and then if your hoop is going around to the left, you are going to turn in that same direction, remembering that turning helps turn elbow in and take it down onto your waist. So what we have there is preferred direction, hand in, come along with me, raise it to the sky, spin a few times here, hand in, turn and down. So some troubleshooting there. First of all, prayer hands together, really making sure that your hands are not apart. If they are, then the hoop's going to bounce. So you want to keep your elbows bent, keep a pulse in your hands, open up through the shoulders, drop and make space in the neck. Then take the first hand out and turn in the same direction as your hoop, as your elbow goes up and your hand comes all the way down to your side. Now, if your hand doesn't come all the way down to your side, then this might happen. It's totally okay. The hoop is going to fall on the floor. But what we know is that our hoop needs a contact point and then it also needs momentum. So with those two things in mind, as you take the hoop down, you need to keep the speed, the pace, the momentum, and you need to keep it close to you. So it needs to push into your belly. And then, of course, when you do transition from off body to on body, sometimes we have a tendency to do too many big movements. And that's okay, You're just getting into the groove. But ultimately, what we want is tall hoop posture, hand in lift, spin a few times, press hands together, elbow in, drop off. So give yourself as much time as you would like to practice taking that down and on and up and off. Now, if you are doing this modification, you can still grab the hoop, slide the hands forward, elbow in, elbows, both elbows in, take it to the sky, let go and spin with one hand, prayer hands, down and on. Or if you would prefer, two hands together, raise to the sky. One hand spins, second hand spins. Grab the hoop and turn and use your other hand to help support down and on. So a few variations there. You can one hand lift, spin. Prayer hands drop, waist. One hand lift, spin, prayer hands, drop on to the waist. Or two hands, slide, open up. One hand, spin, I'm spinning right hand around to the left. Now left hand around to the left. I'm going to turn in the same direction as the hoop, squeeze, Place both hands up, palms out, bring it down and on. So change hands. You do not have to do it as fast as this or you might want to do it as fast. So give yourself a few practices of those. And again, if you are keeping your arms down, you can do some circles here 
and spin on. All right, how's that feeling? Shoulders open and connected. Now let's connect those dots so that we can stay in continuous vortex, passing up at the front, down at the back, up at the front, down at the back. Now, notice very, very important, huge troubleshooting tip here. If you are vortexing continuously, passing at the top and at the bottom, what you really want to make sure is that your timing is in sync, meaning your hoop, your passing and your body turning is working simultaneously. Sometimes the hoop can be going too fast and then the passing can be going too slow and that's okay, that's part of the journey. But eventually what you really want to do is drop the hoop low and take it as high as you can. Now often your instinct might be to pass just above the head and just behind your middle back and that's not going to give you enough space. It's also going to potentially cause tension and injury. So let's link it up all the way up, all the way down. Continuously. Let's start from the waist. And what we're going to do is take the hoop up and off, give it to the second hand, take it down to the bottom. And now what you're going to do is have your, instead of taking it from the waist, you're going to take the hoop from the inside and lift up and off. Now, <laughs> doing that without momentum is the hoop's going to feel like it just drags. It's going to drag. So what you're going to start to do is quicken the pace of your drop. You drop it in to the other hand and lift. Drop it into the hand and lift. Drop and lift. Remember, you're aiming for the stars. If you find yourself taking the hoop out in front, then it's going to lag and and catch on to you. So let's try that. Remember we're building and building here. So from the waist we lift up, change hands, drop down, take it up, take it up. So dropping from the left to the right or the right to the left. And there's almost like this bounce, bounce that happens. Now, this pass off here can take a little while to get used to. And once you start to move into the vortex, you might find that you have different hand grips. So this is just another little sprinkling to let you know that there are multiple ways that you can take the hoop down and up just like this. So you might find that uh, your hand grip at the top changes so that, let's say for example, your right knuckles are out and your left knuckles are in and you take the hoop down and on, your left knuckles are out and your right knuckles are in. So you're alternating your grip. This is another way, another modification that is not the prayer hands. So prayer hands at the top, but another modification is to alternate your grip. Now, if you're practicing this one, where wrist is towards you, the other wrist is away, so left wrist is towards me, right wrist is away, and then we alternate the grip. What can happen is that you grip on too tight, and when we grip on too tight, everything else gets really tight. So you have to really bring in some conscious breath there. So let the grip be light, take it low, take it high. Okay, how are your shoulders feeling? Give them a little wiggle, give them a little wobble. Okay, so we have one hand lift, prayer hands change, down and up. You can do a few spins in the middle here if it gives you some time. And then eventually down and up, down 
and up, passing at the top, passing at the bottom. Now, here is a cool modification. If you prefer to have the vortex happening around your waist or your hips and you're not feeling like you want to take the hoop above your head for a whole bunch of different reasons, uh, maybe it's style, maybe it's tension, maybe it's injury, then you can vortex around your hips or your waist. You can also practice both of these. So just a cool modification. This feels like a really old school move <laughs> that I used to think was magic. I still think is magic. So what's going to happen is it, feel, it can feel a little bit awkward at the beginning, but you are going to pass with your pinkies close together at the front and then your pointers close together at the back. And what you're actually doing is magic. It's magic. You are working against gravity to keep your hoop floating. And this definitely happens in this full vortex. But what's going to happen when you bring the hoop down, instead of lifting it straight back up, you're going to pass around to the front and the back. Now, this is another practice of synchronizing your turning and your passing. So when the hoop and the body and the arms are in synchronicity, in their pace and their passing and their positioning, um, then, and, and a sense of lightness and freedom as well, this is the beauty of these vortex style moves is that you really need to let go. So... It's also going to give you a really incredible connection with understanding the weight and timing of your hoop. So we pass at the front and the back and the front and the back. And when you're ready to lift, take it high, change, low, change, high, change, low, change, down and around. Yes. Now the cool part is that at any point, of vortexing, you can drop the hoop off on your body. You can take it into this low vortex. You can take it high and spin it above your body. So what you're creating just with this one move is a whole series of flow. Before we wrap this up, I'm going to give you one more variation. And that is where we vortex down and up in this alternating arm style. So let's say we are spinning on the waist and we lift the hoop up and off. When we bring the hoop to the top, our second hand is going to come pinky to the center. We take the hoop down and up. Pinkies meet down and up. So what we get is this bouncing effect. So we trace the hoop down to the point opening up through the shoulder gently and then up to that center point, down and up, down and up. Just a little variation there for you. So this has been a jam-packed vortex session. Here is your homework. Here is your playtime. Give yourself some space, starting off by passing around the body, taking it up above, dropping it down onto the waist and moving into a natural, flowing, no rules sequence of vortexes. Up and down, around, alternating side to side, onto the body at any time, off the body and back in to your vortex. Please let me know how you go in the comments down below if you have more questions, if there are some tips that I can give you, some little troubleshooting pointers, um, if there are things that are not working for you or if you're totally nailing it and in love with being 
inside the vortex, then please let me know. Also, any requests that you have for these longer form tutorials where we really break down moves, I love sharing this with you. So any questions, any requests, just drop them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Big hoop love from me to you. Mwah.